We love seeing cars in movies, but let's be honest, sometimes Hollywood gets it wrong. Today I'm joined by the only real mechanic at Donut, believe it or not, probably believe it, Zach Job, uh, and we're gonna be tearing apart both good and bad dialogue from movies to see if it is utter nonsense or plausible jargon. And in the end, we'll decide if any of these scenes are bad enough to make us puke. <laughs> it's Monday, let's watch a movie. Thanks to the Ridge Wallet for sponsoring today's video. Do you find yourself wiggling around in your driver's seat trying to make that thick, bulging wallet comfortable on your back? Well, wiggle no more with the Ridge Wallet. It fits comfortably in your front pocket with its sleek, durable design, and don't let the lightness fool you, all right? It holds up to 12 cards with plenty of room for cash. The Ridge Wallet's durable material means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. You can buy this one wallet and carry it for life. Plus, the Ridge team offers a 45-day test drive so you can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. See for yourself why they have 40,000 five-star reviews. Get 15% off until June 8th. With free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash donutmedia and using code donutmedia. Or just click the link down below. Now back to the show. How do I drive? I don't remember the engine from this car, Yeah. but now that we're LS guys, yeah. This so thing pretty is serious. hard, dude. It's got well, it ICBs, like it's got ICBs going on. And like big old headers like going through. Yeah, going out the sides it looks like, or yeah. maybe side pipes. So right off the bat, somebody on the crew was excited to build this yes. car. Whoa, nice headers. You've got a high rise double pump carburetor. That's well, pretty impressive. Oh, wait a minute. What, they did all that cool <laughs> ITB <laughs> shit? And then you said, know the guy who built that car was just like, <laughs> <laughs> God, Megan Fox! Are you kidding me? This car is like coolly yeah. fuel injected. They had a chance to be cool there. She she mentioned the headers first. I was like, all right. Uh huh. But then just fumbled hard. Yeah, and it's not her fault. Right, it's not. I just want to make it very clear. This is not Megan Fox's fault. Somebody told her to say that. She was probably like, hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. I uh, don't think this is a carburetor. Yeah, this car has ITBs. It's probably not carbureted. <laughs> so carburation is the old way of putting fuel into an engine. It's the thing, thing that sat on top of like old V8s and stuff and all sorts of engines. And you know, fuel was injected into the engine. But fuel injection with electricity and fuel injectors like we use now is way better. You make way more power. I don't know what that engine started out as, but it is not carbureted. That sits on top of the engine. It's very obvious, about yay big usually. <laughs> and this, as you can tell by all the individual um, runners, the eight tubes sucking air in, those are individual throttle bodies. Megan Fox, sorry, but. That's utter nonsense. I'm gonna put it on Michael Bay. Michael Bay, utter nonsense. Talk to me, Jesse. Same working, brother. It's your fuel, man. It's got a nasty hole. That's why you're unloading in third. I told you we're third. Shut that length in the injected pulse, another millisecond, just two in the nose time where you'll run nines. It's your fuel map. It's got a nasty hole. So, I mean, when you're tuning, there's basically a bunch of cells and mm -hmm. uh, you've got to kind of treat them all differently, sort of. It's all like kind of intertwined. But, you know, if you've got an area that isn't tuned correctly, as you pass through it, you know, as you're driving, it'll kind of stumble or, you know, bog down. So that, well, I don't know that that's how a lot of people would say it. It's just tune the NOS timer, you'll run nines. I guess what he's saying there is like, how you long know, the NOS Yeah, or like at what RPM or throttle mm -hmm. position it engages. They kind of seem incongruent. If you're if you're having a problem with your fuel map, like, let's worry about nitrous later. You know what I mean? Let's fix the fuel map and then get our nitrous timing down. You know, it doesn't seem like you can solve both problems at once. On a you scale of I mean? one to 10, I feel like it's like a seven. In terms of plausibility? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's It's like all a little bit weird and not necessarily <laughs> what they need to do to fix the thing. It's car guy it's Yahtzee. Words, yeah, it, exactly. <laughs> yeah, all the words make sense, not necessarily in the correct order. Bobo. Tell me what you think about this. County adjustables. I'm gonna save us about two pounds, and they're gonna give us better traction for the whole shot. All right? 
I love how blown away he is already. <laughs> I know. Like, well, to be honest, for the time, having that on a computer screen would have probably blown me away, too. Cone adjustables are, you know, suspension. Yeah, well, uh, I think they're just the shocks, really. Yeah, so yeah, you can control, you know, mm -hmm. how the car reacts to bouncing and loading. I mean, and he owes this guy a 10-second car. Yeah, so, so he knows what he's got to do. So that's the other reason he's looking at Jesse like that. He's like, this guy's going to save my ass. Yeah, his friend is going to kill me. Right now, we are building a car mm -hmm. with some pretty... Yeah insane suspension yep. stuff. And to mention like, first off, like just like, Coney adjustables. Uh, and a weight <laughs> savings of two pounds. Like, <laughs> yeah. Go to the bathroom, <laughs> Save two pounds. Yeah, so <laughs> plausible jargon. Uh, sure, yeah. Kind of silly, yeah. though. Yeah. Let me tell you what Melbourne Coast is packing right here. I've right, got 411 Posi Track out back, 750 double pumper, Edelbrock intakes, Ford over 30, 11 to 1 pop up pistons, turbojet, 390 horsepower. If you did make those upgrades, you can see right there it says 390 horsepower on the uh, air cleaner. So that's what it would have made when it was stock. But he did some upgrades and then listed the stock horsepower. That was pretty good. I mean, it, was, it seemed like kind of just reading the uh, owner's manual a little bit. Mm -hmm. Although the Edelbrock headers would have been an upgrade potentially the, the carburetor as well. I want to point out that he said 11.5 pop-up pistons. Yeah, which is... Which 11.5 to one compression, yeah. which is a very high mm -hmm. compression level, yeah. especially for a big V8 like that. Yeah, definitely. And pop-up pistons, uh, he means like a like a dome style, you know, mm -hmm. like a, a piston that comes above the, the deck height of the engine, which that's definitely plausible jargon. That's pretty good jargon. I'm gonna say best jargon yet. She sucks nitro. It runs nitro meth means that they're running nitro methane for the fuel, which uh, can make a lot of power, but you get really bad gas mileage and really isn't that friendly to run. I mean, I don't know. You probably didn't need to, but it sounds cool, doesn't it? Nitro meth. Yeah. Phase four head. Some companies, you know, have different stages for their, their parts, and phase four might mean like, you know, say... Or a generation. Yeah, maybe. maybe like a like, gen four right, head. Exactly. We've got the phase four heads are the best. Yeah. She's meanness put to music, and the bitch is born to run. That is poetic. Honestly, I'm going to start saying stuff <laughs> like that. I didn't think that, like, my jargon game was going to get stepped up <laughs> by doing this episode. Yeah, I'm going to give that plausible jargon. That was, that was decent jargon. Um, the only thing that looks a little off to me is the, the air scoop going into the blower is tiny. Mm-hmm. Well, you see, the problem is, how do you get over the shift? Oh, oh, right, because the, uh... Because it gets in the way. Because you you wouldn't want to disrupt the, uh, synchro mm -hmm. mash, right? Or the throttle linkage. The clutch master oh. cylinder. Double overhead camshaft. I can't do this. Uh, 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 just Wait. straight in line six. <laughs> That's redundant. You either say straight six or inline six. True. <laughs> like this is very like car term Yahtzee. Yeah, exactly. Which is a thing that you run into with car movies a lot where it's like, yeah, they put a bunch of words on dice and they shake yeah. it up and they throw them out. Triple Weber carburetors bolted to each other's body structures. Oh, well, it's time to work. Yeah, oh. and brakes. Really good brakes. I mean, my take is really that he was just trying to turn around by saying car. He's not car. real, Zach. He's a character. The words that he's saying. Well, his character. Are by a man. Yeah, I know, but I, I just think that that like that was the bit that there, she's yeah. just turned on by hearing car parts uttered from Memphis Reigns' mouth. I mean, the words are real words. <sighs> I think he's trying to turn her on. You give it. You rank it. You use your judgment. I think it's just like one of the most blatant examples of using car terms. So this next point is not a quote from a movie necessarily, but I do think it's important to bring up the fact that Mater from Cars lives in a junkyard, which is essentially a cemetery <laughs> or a morgue for cars. And he's surrounded by car parts, which is 
essentially the organs and bones <laughs> of cars. <laughs> Mm. And everyone's like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. That's where you'd live. Ex we're fine with that. You want to know something crazy? What? I've never seen Cars. you never seen Cars in the no. movie? It's really good. Yeah, also, in the world of Cars, why do they have sidewalks? Why do the cars have doors? Are there there are no humans in this world? There's no, hu oh, you don't know. Yeah, there's no, there's no humans. The cars... <laughs> Are the humans? Do they have dogs? No, there's no mammals. Whoa. There's bugs. Dang. Let me know if you want us to make an entire video based on how weird the cars world is. Uh, spoiler alert, we're gonna make an entire video <laughs> on how weird the cars world is, and we'd love your help. Drop any weird specifics on the cars world. Uh, in the comments below. Any carspiracy theories? I will watch the Fuck movie it, before dude. we do You it. just coined the term, dog. Carspiracy theory. <laughs> Speaking of weird fake cars, a while ago we launched a Kickstarter to fund uh, an idea that we had for a car collectible. It's called Stocky. It's very cool and it's finally here. Uh, this has taken a really long time, a lot longer than we thought. It's a lot harder to make uh, an actual physical product like this than any of us anticipated but they are available now. I just want to thank everyone who backed the Kickstarter for their patience and for their support. Yours are on the way. And if you didn't back the Kickstarter, that's okay, I guess. <laughs> uh, but you can still get one. Click the link and we're gonna open up sales. Uh, so you, like, these are sick and you can buy one. Anyway, we're gonna close this video with a movie that we've all been watching a lot at Donut. We're kind of sort of obsessed with it. Uh, it's called 200 Miles Per Hour. And it is uh, essentially a movie that's not part of the Fast and Furious franchise, but definitely should be. And it's like kind of like the best, the best one. Oh my God. What do you think? Is it a loner? Hell no, it's mine. I made manager. Congratulations, bro. Thanks, man. Youngest manager in the history of the dealership. One of the perks was a sweet deal on this. It's like an $80,000 car. Zero to 60 in three and a half seconds, quarter mile 11.5 seconds, and 193 miles per hour top speed right off the box. What car are they talking about? Yeah, <laughs> the 370? Uh, I don't know, man. Three and a half seconds, zero to 60? Dude, if Felipe's car is $80,000, then yeah. I need to talk to somebody. <laughs> well, it never was. I mean, <laughs> the Newsy is, is starts at $40,000, right? So yeah. that was like a $40,000, $45,000 car. Maybe thirty-five, dollars even. It's like very interesting that they chose this car and like chose to not give the actual right. stats. Right. Like just be like, no one will notice. It was probably, they had probably already had the stats written into the script uh -huh. and then it like came time and the car didn't show up and mm -hmm. they just used like somebody's car. No one will like, know. Who has a cool car here? Yeah. And the director and everyone's just like, nobody knows anything about <laughs> cars, stupid. How much faster do you think the O for show Vanity plate ads. That's sweet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, probably, oh. I mean, that's probably how it got down to three and a half seconds. That thing's hard, dude. Uh, this whole movie is full of jargon like this. This is literally in the first two minutes and 18 <laughs> yeah. seconds. Yeah, and the whole it. thing's on YouTube. Yeah, they're real words. They are real words, but the context isn't plausible. It's so. absurd. So sorry, Felipe, but 370Zs don't go 193 miles an hour fresh <laughs> off the box. Yeah. So the question is, did we puke from any of these scenes? I didn't. I didn't either. But I do think I have diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Roscoe is over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching this video and everything else on Donut Media. We put new stuff up every week. We sell a bunch of clothes. You can find those at donutmedia.com. Zach's wearing a hat from there. Um, follow Zach at Zach Job. Follow me at James Pumphrey. Follow Donut at Donut Media. All right, I love you. Like and subscribe! <laughs>